Hi, welcome to the second part of this two-part color pencil tutorial. We're actually going to work on a real piece using colored pencils. Um, I did a quick sketch of a rose here, and this is my reference photo. Um, it's good to have a picture or or draw it in real life, um, just so you have something to look on, because it's kind of hard to create values to match it and make it look realistic without um, a reference photo. I'm going to make it a little bit different because the printer made this a little bit brighter and you can't really see all the detail in it so I'm going to be kind of doing that on my own but this is just to get an idea. So it's yeah it's good to have like an actual picture to look off of. Alright so let's start with the leaves. So as you can see here the leaves, leaves have little veins in them and this would be perfect to use the indentation technique that I demonstrated in my previous video. So I'm going to get a piece of paper, just one minute. That I'm going to put over my drawing and I can still see, it's kind of hard to see on this, but I can still see the leaf underneath and I'm going to grab my pencil and start indenting the leaf veins into my paper. Just like we did before, I'm drawing hard and I'm trying to get it really indented so I can get that vein look. And I'm going to make them... See, and I'm just following this picture, trying to capture what it would look like in real life. make a little one here and I'm just judging where my leaf is So I'm working on the indentation method um, that I did for the little veins in the leaves here, as you can see, because that's really going to create a light value on it. So I'm just going to sketch out. I can kind of make out my leaf beneath here, but I just want to sketch it out so I can kind of see what I'm doing. All right, and then I'm just going to create this indentation. And I'm looking back and forth at my picture as I'm doing this so I can kind of do it as accurately as possible and make it look like a leaf. Sorry if the camera's shaky. Drawing dark. I'm making them branch out. There's my first leaf, and now I'm going to move to the next one. There are a couple leaves over here. Oops. 
Right, so I just sketched out my leaves just so I could see where it is, and I'm making sure that I don't hit the flower because I don't want these lines showing up where the flower is. Spread out a little bit. And if I don't like how it looks, I can go back and fix it and maybe color in a little bit darker. Alright, so there we are. And you can kind of see the indentations in here. It kind of went out a little bit, um, but we'll make it work. Alright, so I'm going to look for the greens that I will need. So, and I'm just going to kind of look at the picture and match it with the colored pencils I have. So, I want this green. Remember, don't do one color. Never just use one color in your drawing. Because that's what a lot of amateurs use. And it just, it doesn't look real because drawings are just are not one color. So got some greens, maybe this one. And usually what I do is I just kind of pick out all the colors and then all the green. So I'll take all the greens and then decide um, which ones I want to use while I'm working. And black. Black and white are going to be your two most used colored pencils. So you're going to have to buy a lot of replacements for those. Alright, so I'm going to start with this leaf and I'm going to keep this here just so we can kind of look at it while I draw. So what I do is I start with the light color. So this one might be a little light, but we can darken it up. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of... I drew a little dark so you could see, but I'm going to erase it just as smooth so I can, so it doesn't show up underneath the color pencil. Alright. So I'm going to start down here. And you can already see the little veins coming out. This leaf is spiky, so got to make sure we get that spikiness in. It's such a, it's a really good technique, and I don't use it often enough, and I really should start doing it more. Alright, so there's my first layer, and then I'm going to go back in and add a little bit darker here. So I'm starting at my base, and the base is going to be the darkest because it's kind of covered up by that flower, if you can see it there. And colored pencils are my favorite mediums. I use these the most. Because I just like how clean and neat they are. And they're easy to use. And I can just color right over these lines. And you can't even, it won't even color in. Which works perfectly. So I'm darkening my leaf here. Now I'm going to go for this olive green color. Just keep adding my layers. It looks messy now, but it all come in neat. See, we're actually starting to get that real color in there. Make it look the same. So I'm making sure that I'm not getting too messy on the edges. Now I'm going to create those little spikes, starting to add in a little bit more detail. Alright, I'm going to pause here. I'm not going to go all the way up because I want to start adding in, finishing the value at the bottom so I can judge how dark I need to move up. So now I'm going to my dark green. This is the darkest green I have. And, whoops. 
Alright, sorry about that. This is the darkest green I have. And if you want to make it darker, you have to add black. Coming around here. And I'm darkening it and making it the roughness a little bit neater. I'm going to go in real quick and I'm going to color in the veins so I can see them with this really light color pencil and I can make them darker too. Alright, so now at the base I'm going to add my black in. I'm just going to take this and color right over. And see, I'm trying to emulate the darkness here to here. And I can go back in with the green and soften the darkness a little bit. really dark down here because the flower is kind of overshadowing the leaf take my dark green again maybe it's a little dark so I'm gonna go back over it lighten it up a bit there we go And see, I'm just taking my colors and going back in where I think I need to and just filling in little holes. Just keep reworking it until you get the color you want. Always checking back and forth. So you can see my veins right now are a little bit light, lighter than those, so I'll have to go back and fix them. But this leaf is pretty dark, so it's going to be, oh, I'm going to need a lot of black. Thinning out the veins. You can see it's starting to look gradient. That's what I was going for. Tightening it up a bit. Now with the vein, I'm going to go in with a little bit darker green. And 
maybe even use this olive green because it's too light there that kind of makes them blend in a little bit see how it's kind of dark around here on the leaf so I'm going to take my black and go in with that thin them out more because they got a little thick especially this part so you just want to try and get as close as the real one as you can now, obviously this is going to look a little bit more like a drawing because it is um, but the more re realistic it looks, the better your drawing will be. It's a little time consuming, but that's what it takes to make a good piece of art. So the veins are going to get a little bit lighter up here because um, it's not close to the, le or the flower, so it's going to be closer to the light source.
All right, so we finished the leaves. They're all done. You can see. Compare that to this one. Now we get to start on the flower. So I'm going to start my. I'm going to start from the center and work my way out. So as you can see in the center here, it's really dark. So I'm going to start out with my black. So I'm keep this here so I can compare. I'm always looking back and forth to check and check my reference to make sure I'm doing it right. Um, so let's see, we start sort of in the middle here, kind of comes out this way. Thicken that line. And I'm just following the picture here and I will I'll go back and sharpen the line but I'm just kind of sketching out where I'm gonna have my dark and if you do mess up you can erase color pencil it doesn't come off all the way but some is better than none and then you can go back over it so there's that piece and now focusing on getting this area in And this is a simple drawing too. You can practice on simple drawings and then move to um, more expert ones, I guess you could say. I'm not going to do mix, um, mix uh, mediums with this one because it doesn't really have a lot of values in it and so I just want it to be pure color pencil but we're working with um, dark and light values alright so that's my dark center pair it with this now I'm going to take my red. I'm going to start with a light red, almost orangish, just because this is going to be my light color. And then I'll work my way with this darker red. And then I have an even darker one, crimson, this one. And obviously black can be used to create darker values too. So we're going to start here in the middle. I'm going to erase these lines so you don't see them. It's always a good idea to erase your pencil lines, even though there is color, just so you because sometimes you can see through. I'm just going to erase those. Just following this around, it's kind of a spiral shape. So I'm going to go back, I'm sharpen this real fast. Okay, so I'm going with my darker color. And I actually drew this little tooth thick with the red so I'm gonna go back in here and thicken this black up a bit and then darken this So you see, I have to kind of create the shape of the petals here 
So you can see that there's an outline around this. So when I do this, I'm going to do a little thin black line and maybe go over it with red just so I can blend it a little bit. lighten it up here the top and it's best to do light or dark over light but um, in this case I'm just trying to get a blend in and darken it up so now I'm going to take my dark head and this is the center my dark pencil so this is the center so down here darken that because if you're looking at this, it's darker down here, it's black. So you want to go light, then dark, then black. Same with here. Darken that a little bit. And this red isn't that much darker than the one I used before. So I'm probably going to go in with black and add a little bit of that. like that. Darken this. And blend this red into the black a little bit just so it's not pure red and then pure black. So you can have a kind of gradient effect going down into the flower. A little bit more light and I can also like before take my white and just lighten these parts up here Take my black around the tip. Use this dark red. Blend it in so it's not completely black. And that's going to be going to another petal. Like so. So now I'm going to take my dark head, and this is the center. My dark pencil. So this is the center. So down here, darken that. Because if you're looking at this, it's darker down here, it's black, so you want to go light, then dark, then black. Same with here, darken that a little bit, and this red isn't that much darker than the one I used before, so I'm probably going to go in with black and add a little bit of that. like that. Darken this. And blend this red into the black a little bit just so it's not pure red and then pure black. So you can have a kind of gradient effect going down into the flower.
a little bit more light. And I can also, like before, take my white and just lighten these parts up here. Take my black around the tip. Use this dark red. Blend it in so it's not completely black. And that's going to be going to another petal. Like so. Using my light color first on this petal. <clears throat> Now I'm doing the bottom, so I'm going to use my dark red, and then I'll be mixing it with black, so it's super dark. Going back in with the lighter red to blend it. And then finally brightening my lightest red. I'm just going to use my other red to tone that down a little bit because it's a little bright. So you can see I'm just blending all my colors together. If you blend light, medium, dark colors, you'll get a gradient effect and it'll also be smooth. I'm going to fix this black because it's a little rough. Now we can see our rose here and this rose. See, I'm just following, following along with how this looks and then transferring it over here. Adding color is my favorite part. I get so frustrated with drawing because it takes forever and sometimes I can't get it right. But um, I just love playing with color. Alright, and I'm darkening this down here.
So I'm just going to keep creating the shapes of the leaves and then making my valleys go from light to dark. Okay, so I found a better way to position the tripod so it's not going to be shaky anymore. Just a minute. Okay. So now I can get back in here with my light. I'm going to make this a little bit brighter because once you start going outward, it's going to be, let's see on this one going to start getting brighter out here than it is in here. Making this a little bit wider so it goes around the, loop, the petal. Darkening it down here just a bit. I'm going back in with my dark red and blending that black in. I'm just doing the same thing for every petal. It's good to be consistent. Um, I was going to bring it all together at the end. And this is this is my technique too. Like every artist has their own technique. So when you start drawing on your own, you might find a technique that suits you better than this. But um, this is what I do personally, and I find it works really good. You just have to be a good observer too. Just observe um, the photo or if you're drawing in real life and observe completely because um, that's what's really going to bring out the realistic um, nature of the picture. Make this black area a little bit longer so it goes around the leaf. Where the, this, because this is the petal right here, and I'll darken that once I get down there. But I just want to make sure my colors are right. And you can see without black down here, how light that looks, and how like unformed it is you can't really tell like where the petal begins and ends so that's why you have to create this black part at the bottom so you get a sense of depth blend it up then blend it out Look at how dark I made this leaf because, or this petal, because I didn't start with a lot of this color. I used a bunch of the darkest red I have. So I can just go back in and lighten it up a bit. But I kind of like how it looks. It gives it a different appearance than the other petals. Of course, I add my black near the bottom of the petal and just add, by adding black you can see, you can it gives it a more three-dimensional look blend it up
All right, and I'm nearing the end of this side, so make this last petal here, and this one here. And see, brooches are pretty easy because you just keep drawing the petals outward. The hardest part is the spiral on the inside because it can get a little confusing, but as long as you're following the picture, you should be fine. Here. And this, this would be a case where using marker um, underneath would be hard because it doesn't have a lot of detail. Um, so it would be hard to get um, just do a layer of marker and then do other layers over it. You have to um, use colored pencil for this. But like if, if there's something like the, the peacock I showed in the other video like that and you can add like details like hair over it then that, that works for markers. So I'm going to sharpen my pencils real fast. And a lot of a lot of people will tell you that you know, keep your pencil sharp, but sometimes a blunter tip is better because it gets covers more area and it has softer color and it um, helps you not to dent your paper. So I'm not sharpening mine all the way, but just enough so it's not like hard to do it. Moving on to this petal. Alright, and I'm nearing the end of this side, so make this last petal here, and this one here. And see, brooches are pretty easy because you just keep drawing the petals outward. The hardest part is the spiral on the inside because it can get a little confusing, but as long as you're following the picture, you should be fine. Here... And this, this would be a case where using marker um, underneath would be hard because it doesn't have a lot of detail. Um, so it would be hard to get um, just do a layer of marker and then do other layers over it. You have to um, use colored pencil for this. But like if, if there's something like the, the peacock I showed in the other video like that and you can add like details like hair over it then that, that works for markers. Sharpen my pencils real fast. And a lot of a lot of people will tell you, that, you know, keep your pencil sharp, but sometimes a blunter tip is better because it gets covers more area and it has softer color and it um, helps you not to dent your paper. So I'm not sharpening mine all the way, but just enough so it's not like hard to do it. Moving on to this petal. All right. 
die and I'm nearing the end of this side so make this last petal here and this one here and see brooches are pretty easy because you just keep drawing the petals outward the hardest part is the spiral on the inside because it can get a little confusing but as long as you're following the picture you should be fine here And this, this would be a case where using marker um, underneath would be hard because it doesn't have a lot of detail. Um, so it would be hard to get um, just do a layer of marker and then do other layers over it. You have to um, use colored pencil for this. But like if, if there's something like the, the peacock I showed in the other video like that and you can add like details like hair over it then that, that works for markers. This part goes over the leaf so it's going to be lighter, not dark. Because the leaf is under it, which is why it's dark at the base. I just want to point out how vibrant this color is too. Um, you're not going to get this vibrancy with um, cheaper colored pencils. Maybe got a little bit too thick on that black there, so I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more and make it look a little natural, a little more natural. And we're just about done. touch-ups here and there. And there you go. It's all done. Um, so I hope you learned a lot about um, using colored pencils and I hope you'll try this out. Um, thank you for watching and be sure to watch my next series on uh, oil pastels.